Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is another in the fight night series brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com Now my fight night series of videos contain comparisons of popular smart devices and to make the videos more light hearted and interesting to watch I use a boxing match format. The two devices that are in the ring today are the Nest and the Sensi UP500W smart thermostats. For this comparison I've collected as many details and specifications as I could about each of the thermostats and then I've broken them down into short sections to make my boxing rounds. This fight contains nine rounds. After each round I will tell you who in my opinion has won and at the end of the comparison I will declare an overall winner. So here we have a photo of the Nest and the Sensi UP500W. I don't want to tell you which of these thermostats that I like the look of more because I think the look of a product is something that is totally down to personal taste. And what my videos tend to focus much more on is technical facts. So let's kick off and go straight into round one, which is all about basic specifications. So let's get the thermostats in there and let's have a look at some of these features. So the first one is who makes the thermostat? Nest is a company which started uh, a few years ago and they make smart devices. They are now owned by Google. So there's an established name behind them. Emerson have been making thermostats for decades and are a very highly thought of brand and now they've gone into making smart thermostats as well. The next feature is when was when were these thermostats first for sale? The Nest was first available for sale in September 2015 whereas the Sensi is a lot older and it was first for sale um, four and a half years ago in December 2012. So the Nest is a far younger product. The next feature is the weight and the Nest is nearly double the weight. It's 16 ounces whereas the Sensi is just over eight and a half ounces and that weight for the Sensi seems incredibly light to me. Moving on for the next feature is all about the size and dimensions. The Nest is 3.3 by 3.3 by 1.2 inches. The Sensi is bigger, it's 5.9 by 3.8 by 0.9 inches. And then in terms of price, and remember that these prices are of course subject to change, the Nest is currently available for around $189, whereas the Sensi you can buy for $125, about $125. So at the end of round one, which is all about the basic specifications, I'm going to give that to the Sensi. And the reason for that is just that it's far cheaper. Round two is design, connection and power. So let's have a look at the different features that make up this round. So. The first one is about the available colours that the thermostats come in and the Nest only comes in one colour scheme which is the black and the silver where, and the Sensi only comes in as in the white. So there's no options on colour for either of them. The next one is the material that they're made of. The Nest is made of is made of stainless steel, it is metal, whereas the Sensi is plastic. Moving on to power, the Nest can be powered by your C wire, your 24 volt wire, or by a mains cable, a 110 volt mains cable that you plug into one of your electrical sockets if you have one close to where you want to put your thermostat. Whereas the Sensi can be powered by a C wire or if you haven't got a C wire, then you can power it with two AA batteries. 
The next feature I want to look at is warranty. The Nest comes with a two year warranty, whereas the Sensi comes with a five year warranty, which is absolutely huge. In terms of connection, both of the thermostats are connected via Wi Fi and they both use the B, G, and N protocols. The Nest will connect to a router which is running a 2.4 gigahertz or a 5 gigahertz speed, whereas the Sensi will only connect to a router which is running a 2.4 gigahertz speed. So at the end of round two, design connection and power, my winner is going to be the Sensi again. Very, very close round. Both thermostats are powered by a C wire. The Nest uses two speeds of Wi Fi, but the Sensi has a huge five year warranty. So let's move on to round three, which is all about the screen details. So, first of all, is about the color. The Nest has a 24 bit color screen, whereas the Sensi just has. A two, a two color screen. Obviously, you've got the black font and the light blue um, background, but the Sensi is backlit. In terms of the size of the screen, the Nest is just over two inches in diameter, whereas the Sensi is three inches in di diameter. The Nest and the Sensi don't have a touch screen. So the Nest you can control by moving the, the ring on the outside of the thermostat, whereas the Sensi you control by using the buttons on the side. And in terms of resolution, well the resolution of the Nest screen is 480 pixels by 480 pixels, and I couldn't find any information on the resolution of the, the Sensi screen. So in terms of round three, the winner of that with the screen features is the Nest because it mainly because it has a color screen and there's not so much plastic frame going around the surround of the thermostat itself. Smart f uh, round four, sorry, this is all about some of the smart heating features. So let's look up, see what these features are. First of all is the programming. Now the Nest has something which is very, very radical and novel. It has an auto programming feature, which means that you don't have to manually um, program it at all. All you do is over the course of a week or so, is you just move the thermostat and adjust it to the temperatures that you like and the thermostat then remembers those settings and then will repeat them for future days and weeks. Whereas the Sensi has a more traditional and manual approach whereby you kind of go through the days of the week and you then enter in exactly when you want your heating and cooling to come on and off. Now, neither room sensors is another feature of some of the leading smart thermostats, but neither the Nest nor the Sensi actually use room sensors. Geofencing is the ability of the thermostat to detect when the house is empty, when everyone has left it, and it does this through detecting the location of your smartphone. And the whole idea of it is so that when it knows everyone has left the house, it will then turn all the heating or all the cooling off to save energy. The Nest uses the geofencing capability, whereas the Sensi doesn't use it. Remote access is the ability to control your thermostat when you're not at home, and this is a very important feature for buyers, and both of these thermostats have remote access. And we'll be looking at remote access in more detail later as well. Okay, energy saving is the next smart heating feature. Both of these thermostats claim to save you energy. The Nest claims to save you up to 15% energy costs, whereas the Sensi claims 
that you will save up to 30% of your energy costs if you use it if you use the thermostat smartly now the in terms of forecast the nest has a local forecast which shows up on the thermostat whereas the sensi gives you a local forecast but it's only on the app which you download to control it so round four i think that the nest in my opinion wins that it uses geofencing it has a weather forecast on the screen and it also has the revolutionary auto programming feature or auto learning feature i think they call it but then again the sensi does claim to save you up to 30 percent but i think the nest wins round four round five some more details about heating systems so this is it we've got these by the way are all 24 volt uh, heating systems so both thermostats can use are compatible with gas systems both are compatible with electric systems both are compatible with oil systems and both thermostats are compatible with dual fuel systems so at the end of round five i think round five has got to be a draw because everything is equal there's no difference between their capabilities so round six some more things about heating systems let's have a look at the features conventional systems such as furnaces the nest can use up to two stages of heating and two stages of cooling and the sensi is the same two heating and two cooling using a heat pump the nest can do four stages of heating two of cooling and the sensi is exactly the same in terms of controlling accessories such as humidifiers or dehumidifiers the nest can do it whereas the sensi can't so at the end of round six the nest is my clear winner because of its ability to actually control accessories like humidifiers round seven is all about the remote remote access this is the ability to control and to manage your smart thermostat when you're not at home so if you are using your iphone or your ipad which has got the ios software you need ios 9 or later for the nest whereas the sensi you need ios 8 or later and that means that the sensi will work with phones and ipads that, that are slightly older the nest if you're using an android phone or an android tablet such as galaxy nexus or pixel then for your nest you will need version 6 of the android system or later whereas for the sensi you're going to need version 4 or later windows 10 mobile neither of these two thermostats provide an official app to work with your windows 10 system your mobile system but the nest and the sensi both allow you to control these devices via your browser which is great because it means that not only do you, can you use your smartphone or your tablet to control these devices but actually you can also control these devices by um, using your your windows laptop or your apple macbook as well so it gives more flexibility so the end of round seven remote access i think that they are there is a draw because both devices are exactly the same round eight home automation okay let's have a look at some of these things some of the features so the first system that we're looking at is the amazon echo and both the nest and the sensi allow you to um, or work with the amazon echo system as long as obviously you have the amazon echo mic the next home automation system is the if triple t which is the if then if this then that web service and the nest has an official 
channel on that which is full of different ways that you can make it work with the um, with this system whereas the Sensi doesn't work within the IFTTT system the Nest works with the Apple HomeKit system whereas the Sensi isn't compatible with it both the Nest and the Sensi are compatible with the Wink system the Nest will work with Samsung smart things whereas the Sensi won't so the winner, the clear winner of round 8 is the Nest because it's compatible with far more systems the final round today is reviews and ratings so let's have a look at some of these features the first feature is just the overall rating so the Nest has a rating of 4.4 out of 5 whereas the Sensi is 4.2 out of 5 so the Nest has a slightly higher rating the next feature is the reviews that have been written so the Nest has had over three and a half thousand reviews that have been written whereas the Sensi has just had over 3,100 reviews that have been written but remember the important thing here is that the Sensi has been available it's been on sale for far longer so if we look at an average of reviews that are being written per month for these devices then for the Nest it's 152 per month whereas the Sensi it's only 58 so again the Nest is showing it has a stronger showing there in terms of questions though the nest has a, has a lot of questions and answers 623 whereas the sensi is over a thousand of its questions have been answered so that's a very very high showing from the sensi there the next one is what percentage of the reviews have graded the product as being five out of five stars and the nest 80 percent of all reviews have graded it as being five star whereas for the Sensi 68 percent of the reviews that are, were written have been written have graded it five out of five so the Sensi is, is lagging behind the nest in that respect and then the final one here is what percentage of the reviews have only rated the product as being one star the Nest is 5% of all reviews and the Sensi is 9% of all the reviews. So obviously for this one here you want you want a lower number so the Nest has a stronger showing again it's better. And the thing to to um to bear in mind here is that these ratings and reviews are changing all the time they are subject to change. So if you want to do some more research or go and have a look then just bear that in mind. That these figures will change over time so the round nine that's the clear winner is the nest it's got a higher rating more reviews it's had more five star ratings and less one star ratings and my winner is the nest the nest won most rounds in this competition it's a leading smart thermostat at the moment it has much more powerful features than the Sensi including the auto learning features feature which replaces the need for manual programming thank you for watching this video I hope that it's helped you if you are looking if you are uh, wondering which thermostat to buy between the Nest and the Sensi then I hope this video has helped you.